Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm just giving you a little strategy with this War of Mine. Now, this War of Mine is a game, it's basically zombie outbreak game without the zombie outbreak because it's like one of those survival things, but it's due to a war, not due to a zombie outbreak. And it's a pretty good game actually, but but unless you get, I think, the DLC or those characters that have more than one person in the picture, you can only get about four survivors in your camp. And each survivor has different skills and diff and some, some of them have drawbacks too. So, so you got to be careful when choosing. So I'm going to give you my four best attributes. Not necessarily the survivors themselves, but my four best attributes for when you're picking your own scenario in this war of mine. Now, those are good cook, skilled scavenger, bargaining skills, and handyman. These were the four characters I went with, but I'm not necessarily, like I said, recommending these characters. I actually went with Livia because she's pregnant. I wanted to make it a little harder for me because, you know, she's pregnant. But if you're picking your characters, why these skills are the best, I believe, is because handyman basically uses less materials when making things, like, I, I, like uh, basically anything. And especially at the beginning, that's really good because... There are so many things to make at the beginning. And good cook uses less fuel when making the food. So fuel is needed, especially during the winter. So you definitely want to conserve fuel because fuel is needed for a good amount of stuff. Like I think it's needed when cleansing alcohol when making moonshine, fuel is needed. So you definitely want to conserve fuel. So that's a good thing. And then when it comes to bargaining, see there's a trader. And this trader, he comes, and of course there are other places you can bargain in the world, depending on which stuff appears. But the trader comes to your house, and you really should take advantage of that, because the trader is able to give you stuff that you don't have to be concerned with how much slots are left in your backpack, because the trader comes to your house. So you can basically get as much as you can trade for or afford. And the reason why you want a skilled scavenger, and I'll tell you why I specifically went with Marco, is because when, when you scavenge, you want someone who's able to get a good amount of stuff and who's fast and stuff just in case you're in a dangerous area or something like that in general. But I went with Marco because even though I think Boris has the most, I think Boris has 17 slots in his backpack, Marco has the best of both worlds to me. He's like fast, He's has 15 slots in his backpack, which is only two less than Boris. So I think I would go with Marco because he's just a really good scavenger, but he also is fast. So those were the four I went for when doing my own scenario. And there, there's the list again, just to let you know. I'm not saying necessarily the characters, just pick characters that have those traits, I believe, when, when doing your own scenario, because that makes it very enjoyable, because those traits, I think, are probably the most important in this game for when it comes to trying to survive. But what do you guys think are the best traits? And wh wh which characters do you think are the best, even if you pick someone who has the same trait? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.